welcome to Emerald Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things crafts and uh, RC. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Spectrum DX6E from Horizon Hobbies. Um, this is a, a radio I purchased um, for our indoor flying season. I have two radios, the, uh, the Tyrannus, which uh, you've probably seen some videos I've done on the Tyrannus. Um, this is my, what I call my outdoor uh, radio. I use a lot of telemetry on my outdoor flying and I find that the Tyrannus has a very, economic, uh, very economical modules that we can uh, use for uh, telemetry and it also has voice uh, so it can keep me alerted on my voltage at all times. So really like the Tyrannus for uh, outdoor flying. However, for indoor flying, a lot of the times when we're doing indoor flying, we're going to be using crafts like the Cub S from uh, Horizon Hobbies. Um, this is what we call a bind and fly. Uh, and what that means is that you need to have a radio in order to make this work. So uh, this is the newer uh, generation of bind and flies with SAFE technology. And this is a, a champ that we fly indoors. This is older. Um, without SEP technology and we're going to explain the difference uh, a little bit between the two and the reason why getting a radio is important. So <clears throat> this is my old DX6i which I've used, great radio and for beginners it was, it's, it's fantastic. However it's been replaced with the new DX6e and this is a quantum improvement uh, for those starting out in the hobbies. And um, not to uh, not to uh, say that the DX6i was, was a bad product, it wasn't. It was revolutionary for its time, getting a lot of people into the hobby. But things have changed so much in the last few years, and an updated radio and a replacement for the, uh, uh, the 6i was definitely in order. So let's talk about some of the basic differences between these two radios. They're both 6-channel, and for outdoor, I'm not sure for any outdoor flyers that our series about outdoor flying, whether a six channel would be enough. So uh, for outdoor flyers, they're going to really graduate at least to a DX8 or, or, or uh, larger in order to have those extra channels to do a lot of the, perform a lot of the functions that you want in outdoor activities. Not so important with indoors. A lot of times you're using four channels at the most, so six is plenty. Also, the difference between the 6E and the 6 is that the 6 has voice and this doesn't. And again, for indoor flying, that's not a major, not a major concern, but everything else is, is barely basically the same. This, uh, one of the differences uh, that the 6E has uh, over the 6I is that this will, um, this will, you can store 250 models in this, in this radio. Very convenient. I, I don't know if you're going to need 250, but you're going to need a lot more than what's in the old 6i, which was 10. Um, I, a lot of times I would go beyond, I'd, I'd have to delete models in order to uh, create new variations even of the same plane, um, uh, which, is, uh, which, which made this uh, limited. Uh, also, this also has the, uh, the wireless trainer port in it. So that's going to be ha uh, uh, very handy when we're trying to train people to fly and if they're using Spectrum products then we can uh, connect wirelessly. The uh, SD card, no SD card in this, SD card in here for saving your models and also for updating the firmware. This is a, um, a fully uh, programmable radio and so there'll be uh, updates to this radio, I'm almost certain in the future. And having the SD card which is just here in the bottom is going to make that update just a little bit easier. <clears throat> one of the biggest uh, changes uh, that, uh, and one of the reasons I, I purchased the, the 6E, because basically this is working fine, is for the three position switches. If you're using safe technology such as this, uh, a lot of them are basically uh, basic uh, beginner mode, intermediate mode, and uh, advanced mode. And having the three function switches was really handy not only for uh, flying uh, uh, with uh, SAFE technology, but also if you're flying a quad, because this does have quad support, this doesn't. So many times you'll be having 
many different functions and if you can put them on one switch so if you're flying a quad with angle horizon or acro mode you're, you're going to be using the three function switches so that is a big improvement in my book over top of the DX6i which really only had two function switches. Now their manual says is that you can program this for to simulate a, um, a three function switch and mixes but it's really too inconvenient to really I think to be practical. So um, although possible for novices I don't think they're going to do it and even as someone who works on the radios it was a challenge to get this programmed. Some of the other changes uh, that um, uh, that uh, this radio has is this has uh, a flap delay. And for those of you that fly uh, outdoors, your flaps, if you're making an adjustment, you're coming in for a landing or taking off and you want your flaps to go down, right now without flap delay, they just pop down unless you buy a delay mechanism, which I, which I have purchased. So right now with the, with the ta uh, flap delay, you can make the flaps go down very smoothly. Why that's important is that if you lower your flaps quickly when you're flying, your plane is going to act pretty radically and you may overreact to it and actually end up crashing. The, uh, as we mentioned before, the switches are fully assignable, really handy. So they're not marked gear uh, or flaps, they're just marked A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and including the bind switch is now programmable as well. That's really a nice feature. Um, the uh, other main difference is that if you have a telemetry receiver, this also has telemetry capabilities. Um, there's, there's other changes in these, but for me, those are the big ones. Uh, your SD card, uh, your three function switches, it's good looking. Um, and so this is definitely uh, a, a really, to me, a big uh, improvement over the 6i. And uh, it's not cheap. It's not, I mean, the price is reasonable, but it's not cheaply built. I mean, it's, it's well constructed. Uh, the switches and the toggles are, are really, are really, uh, really fine. One final thing before we move on is that the left throttle switch can be programmed up for uh, midpoint and for those of you who fly rotors, multi-rotors, you'll know what I mean that that's a pretty handy device uh, for when you're flying multi-rotors. So uh, that being said, I think I've covered all the major differences between the 6i and the 6. Definitely um, I would not even consider the 6i anymore. Go right to the 6e. Uh, I don't think you need the 6. For most beginner flyers, um, the 6C is going to do your job. So I hope you like this video, uh, this review, and if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time in Emerald Meadows. Bye-bye for now.